Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, August 22nd. So this is for whoever it's meant to be for. It will not resonate with everybody, okay? So we'll just see whatever comes up for today for daily energy. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's a really good message. It really is. Because what I see, what I hear instantly is, you know, it could be too late. That's what I heard instantly. Express your love. Express it. Before it's too late. I don't know who that message is for. Somebody. Somebody needs to express their love. Just do it. Just do it. One more. Let your friends help you. Ask for and express. Accept support from others. That's good advice as well. If you were to ask your friends what you should do, would they tell you to follow your heart? Or would they tell you not to follow your heart? What would your friends tell you to do? You know, or if they have your best interest at heart. Okay. If they're truly friends, true, true friends, and they want you to be happy, what would they say? True friends will support whatever decision you make. Put it that way. You know, they will. They will support whatever decision that you make. A true friend will support you. Justice. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to act with integrity. It's time to be honest. Somebody has a decision to make that is very heavy trying to bring balance to their lives, but in order to bring that balance to their lives, they have to do something, okay? Something has to be done um, with integrity. New passionate beginning is an opportunity for something very exciting, passionate, that has room for growth, a lot of passion. But you're going to have to stand up for yourself. You might have to fight for something. You have to go after what you want. You have to put yourself on top. Oh, King of Cups reverse. Somebody may be withdrawn, feeling a little cold hearted at this time. Or you could be dealing with this person who has removed themselves from the emotional equation, closed themselves off. Ooh. Seven of Swords. So somebody is, is, is hiding, hiding behind a wall. But wanting to go back and get what they left. I, I need to go back and get, the, get that. I have to. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to step out from behind this wall. And I'm going to have to do the right thing. There is an opportunity for a passionate new beginning that has growth, 
but you are going to have to make a move. And don't be pointing the finger at anybody else. That's a message I just heard. If you're waiting for somebody else to take that step, that ain't, that ain't going to happen. You have to make the step. You have to defend what's yours, what you want, and step outside of the confusion. You need to open your heart instead of closing your heart, and that's why Express Your Love came up. Closing your heart isn't going to help anything. Destiny, fate, karma, karma, destiny, destiny. Somebody is destined for this change of course, for this change of plan, for this good luck, this good fortune. Whatever's happening is bringing you closer. It's, it is. It's meant to happen. Whatever's happening is meant to happen. There's a new chapter about to start when somebody does the right thing. Justice will be served in your favor when you go after what you want, when you stand up for what you want. It's destiny. Somebody may have went through a break, you know, a rest, a time of, of recuperation. And now they have to release that, those fears, that anxiety. The paranoia. And bring balance back to their lives. There's a there's an opportunity to regain balance, to regain harmony and peace in your life. Somebody has evolved through suffering. They have. And now now it's time to to make some compromises and come together. But somebody is going to have to be held accountable. They're gonna to have to you know, speak up, speak their truth. There's been a lot of healing. There's a lot of been a lot of inner work. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. Or focused, whatever you want to call it. I like to get it right. Anyway. <laughs> I, you know, with the Temperance card, it's a card of evolving. Somebody has went through a difficult time where they have learned some things that has changed them. They've changed, okay? And now it's time to let go of that guilt. It's time to let go of that fear. It's time to let go of that worry that's holding you back from expressing. Let go of that paranoia. Stop hiding behind that wall. You're only, you're only deceiving yourself. You're only hurting yourself. Probably you could be hurting another person as well. But it feels as though, you know, you need to give up on that idea of, of not going after what you want. You need to give up on that idea of closing yourself off. Those thoughts need to go. Closing yourself off from, from love is going to hurt you more than anybody, okay? So anyway, I feel as though, you know, there's an opportunity to blend. There is. There's an opportunity to come together. There's an opportunity to, to for a renewal. But somebody's going to have to stop hiding Somebody has to stop hiding behind that wall. 
and express their love. So I feel like today is a day of perhaps defending yourself, going after what you want, after taking a break, after a time of, of contemplation. But in order to do that, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone and you're going to have to let go of the worry. You're going to have to let go of the, let go of the um, anxiety and the resentment. You know, you have to open your heart. So I feel as though whatever is happening today is urging you to, to start a new chapter, to start a, a, a new path, okay? And there's room for, for a lot of growth. There's a, there's, a, there's a strong attraction to something here. There's, a, there's an attraction that is undeniable. It's something that you can't ignore, okay? You can't ignore it. It's, it's too, you're too drawn to it, okay? But the thing is, is that you have to stand up. You have to do something about it. You have to take action. So I feel like I feel like today is a day of stepping outside of your comfort zone and letting go of the worry, letting go of the fears, You may not be able to master your emotions at this time because, you know, coming coming out from hiding is scary. So I feel like today is a day perhaps of renewal, perhaps of making a compromise, perhaps of, of regaining some peace and harmony in your life if, if you do express if you express your love. You know, it's all about love. It is. And you know, you hear this all the time and so many people say it and a lot of people don't believe it, but it is. Love rules. <laughs> it does. When there is true love, everything else falls into place. Karma, when you act out of love, you get positive karma. You do. When you don't, you don't. So I feel like it's the end of a difficult time. It's the end of turmoil. It's the end of, of mental conflict. It's the end of taking a break. It's the end of taking a rest. If you can step outside of your head and go towards what you want. Go for what you want. It's divinely guided. Whatever is happening is divinely guided. You are being guided to... to change the course and in order to change the course you are going to have to do something this is acting with integrity okay you have to do something so I feel like you know this is a pretty strong message right here I don't think I need to go any further maybe we'll get one of these we haven't got one of these in a while um it's a, it's a time of, of renewal, perhaps, where somebody decides, perhaps, to bring love back, back to the table. <laughs> Should I take that one? <laughs> it's two. So, no, I think I'll just take... I hate to leave. I'm going to take that one that's on my arm, because that's the one I want to take. Ooh, conscious connections. And this is a conscious connection that I do. Somebody wants to go back to something, and that's exactly what this is. But they fear. They fear. They have a lot of anxiety. They, they fear. They feel guilty. There's a lot of guilt here. But there's been a, during this period of guilt and hurt and betrayal and the whole nine yards that I see, there's also been enlightenment. There's also been evolving. Somebody has learned a, a big karmic lesson and now there's an opportunity for for something new a, a new passionate beginning which is undeniable okay um the time is now it's gonna happen it's gonna happen for some of you there is a call for more intimacy in your immediate relationships there is an opening for heart-to-heart -heart communication. 
that can salvage and restore a broken relationship. <laughs> I love it when they do this. I just do. Like I said, there's some kind of renewal. There is an opening for a heart-to-heart -heart communication that can salvage and restore a broken relationship. If you are willing to honor your differences and look to what unites you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sometimes it is hard to bear the differences between one another. One person may be willing to live life in a high definition, while, an, while another may prefer to live it more vicariously until they have the confidence to step onto the center stage of their own life story. We are not here to judge each other, just to love and be loved and let go of those that cannot accept us as we open up to those who can. This oracle brings guidance for you to trust in the, the sanctity of the connections in your life. If you have asked to experience a more sacred connection with people who truly get you and want to play life with you, with you, rather than at odds with or against you, then this oracle is confirmation that this manifestation is on its way to you now. You're, yeah, this is wonderful. <clears throat> It may or may not be obvious at first, but kindred spirits are going to enter your life to help you connect with your deeper feelings and creativity. They will give you wings to your inspirational ideas and big dreams. If you have been asking for healing in your current friendships or intimate relationships, know that this can happen through your willingness to express your true feelings and allow the situation to either fall apart or come together according to the greater workings of life. Sometimes webs that have joined people together are broken and that is appropriate as many people outgrow what's once held them together. Sometimes the ties that bind us together are stro so strong that they are able to withstand a great deal of pressure and still remain intact. This oracle asks you to remain open to healing connections and allow people to be close to you. Please allow people to be close to you. And I feel like somebody is shut down. They have shut down their heart. Trust in the process that draws people in and out of your life. Resist nothing and seek wisdom in all. And more than anything, offer your love. Accept love. Destiny is bringing you something that is meant to be. Why deny it? There's a connection here that defies explanation. That's what I see. Allow. Fighting it will bring bad luck into your life. Trust me, it will. Anyway, I hope this reading is for you. If not, maybe tomorrow. Talk to you next time.